Hello YouTube, Cowboy Casting over here. We got a special video for y'all today. We're reviewing a holster. For those of y'all new to the channel, I do musical covers, I do airsoft gun reviews, and occasionally I got videos of me of the range. But this one is special and it also pertains to the last two categories I just spoke about. Um, I do not get paid by these videos. I don't get paid at all for YouTube. So if YouTube's gonna try to demonetize me there, jokes on you. Anyways, um, how do you make money? Well, I have a day job. Uh, a day job, I work armed security here in the state of California. Unfortunately, here in Los Angeles County, I can't carry it concealed. So those of y'all who get to carry it concealed in your state, I envy the hell out of you. Anywho, this is one of the holsters I carry. Uh, it's a minimalist uh, outside the waistband. And I use I tend to use belts like these. This is by Blue Alpha. All the uh, products that I'm showing today, I'll put on the description for y'all to see. The fun fact is most of these you can find on Amazon, which is pretty cool. Um, I actually switched from that Blue Alpha gear to uh, this one. It's the EDC Hybrid. I'm not going to show you my belly because it's disgusting, but this is a little bit more pricier than that one, but they're both pretty good. Um, at work, my regular uh, setup is this holster. Uh, if you're wondering what weapon I use, I carry a Glock 19 with a Streamlight TLR7. Uh, when I bought this holster from Dara, long before I got to there, I was looking for other alternatives. Unfortunately, the Safari Lands and all those big boy, they don't have it with the Streamlight TLR7 at the time, because I think the light was fairly new at that point. So I found them, uh, a lot cheaper than the little big old Safari Lands, uh, and it does almost the same thing. Got that level two retention and all that. Now, mind you, it already it came with its own uh, mount and uh, low ride strap deal. But I took it out in favor of this one. I used to carry a uh, Safari Land low ride, and I just put the QLS on it. But um, this thigh rig is so comfortable, especially when you're in the car. So. And then there you go, TLR, I mean the QLS. Very good. But today we're going to be reviewing this one. <clears throat> this is the Alien Gear Cloak Shoulder Holster. Now I got this because uh, I follow HR Funk here on YouTube. Shout out to HR Funk. I uh, hope you're enjoying your new career and uh, congratulations on retirement, Chief. Anywho, this. is the cloak now the difference between this i know they have a shape shift but because i run a tlr7 on mine and a light they made one strictly for me and uh so we're gonna put this on very very comfortable these are the straps let's sit that down real quick so we're gonna hook that onto the belt like so Now, you don't have to carry it with the straps. I sometimes don't. I've been running this whole surf for a good week now, and it feels good. Look at this. We got the, the uh, straps here. I'm going to take off one right now. But it's able to move with your body because there's a swivel. But if you want that old school uh, 80s look, you can take off the straps off the holster. And I'll show you how to do it in a minute. So right here, you got a sw you got a tab. You just swivel it off. You can take it off like this. And the same thing goes with the can of the holster. So right now I have the mags sideways. So everybody likes that whole Nathan Drake thing. Oh, I just realized I'm wearing a freaking Henley for this video. That's hilarious. Um, but yeah, if you like that Nathan Drake look, we put the holster back on. There 
There it is. But if you want that Sonny Crockett old school Galco look, uh, you can switch it down. Speaking of Galco, uh, unfortunately they don't make this holster, make a holster for this. This is my weapon here. Uh, safety check. No rounds. And we're just going to put it in like so. Oh, see that little back plate? Shout out to Millspin for this badass Doom Guy single. <clears throat> Thanks for the uh, custom job, guys. I'll uh, give you a link to them as well. If you want a good back plate for your, uh, for your Glock, for, for all of my Glock guys. I think they make ones for other Glocks. I mean, for weapons that aren't Glock, but yeah. But so here it is. It's very comfortable. Now I've already had this pre-adjusted. I've been wearing this all yeah, I've been wearing this all shift yesterday and it just feels lovely. And especially if you're in the car, you're sitting down. Don't get me wrong. This feels good too when you're in the car. Because it just sits there. Especially in the uh, configuration I have it set up. You don't feel it. But at the same time, in the event you're in a situation, I guarantee this was so much easier to draw from. <clears throat> Funny at work, uh, half the people that came into the to the place, all they wanted to talk about was the holster. Um, so for the price, I paid. Here, look at this. Oh, don't. You're right. I shouldn't be doing. That. But uh, the price I paid 146 for this holster. I'm put the I'm gonna put the gun away now. Uh, cause I, like I said, I was looking at Galco. I know, uh, some of y'all like that Miami classic, uh, that jackass rig kind of deal, but for 350, they don't make one for this with, uh, with the light. I looked up craft holsters as well. Uh, they're another alternative to the holster. Um, but they don't make it. Unfortunately, so I talked to them. They're super nice, by the way. And we'll get to the get to uh, Alien Gear's uh, customer service after that. Um, they do make one with the light, but they do not make mag holders for it for some reason. I don't know why. They make one the classic style, but I'd have to take my light off. And I'm like, no, I need my light for work, so it is what it is. Now, fun story. Um, <laughs> I'm going to take this holster off again to show you. The uh, shell of the of the weapon system, the platform. I mean, this is not actually for my gun. Compare this to the uh, OWB I have. Does that look like a TLR7? <laughs> uh, it gave me one with an optic and a TLR1. Now, funny thing is, when I got this in the mail, they actually gave me one for a left-handed shooter. So. But I'm a righty. I'm actually, I, I mean, I write with my left hand, but I actually shoot with my right. So it's like, oh, I don't know. But I spoke to them on the phone. They were super nice, super friendly. Probably the best customer service I've ever seen. Uh, they're better than mine, <laughs> that's for sure. And they're very accommodating. They walked me through it. And then next, you know, five days later, I got this holster. Unfortunately, though, I had to tell them again that <laughs> they gave me the wrong holster. So the right shell will be coming pretty soon and uh i'll get that on for you but um yeah this it, this is a nice oh this is a good alternative for you guys you guys like the, those who like uh shoulder holsters and you want to cosplay like nathan drake and all those guys but you don't want to pay that 350 or whatever for the galco this is a good price for your budget uh 146 not a bad deal um but yeah guys this is the shoulder holster i love it I I, uh, I uh, strongly endorse it. I think you'll love it too. But uh, that is it for me, guys. Thank you guys so much. And uh, stay tuned. We'll be doing some more videos uh, for the music side. And um, maybe when this show comes in, I'll review that too. But until then, guys, thank you again. And we'll see you next time.